welcome to Peer Talk. I'm your host, Alaji. Peer Talk is a talk show that we've created in order to uh, empower, enlighten, and motivate our people. And also to recognize the young, great minds who are doing great things behind the scenes. We all know uh, the diaspora. We are doing amazing, amazing things back home. You know, but then most of the people are not being recognized. You know, so that's why we created this so in order to uh, uh, recognize those people and motivate and inspire you know the ones that might be watching so today with me I have some special young people young men in the building who are doing amazing things behind behind the scenes and um, uh, so I will introduce them to you one by one and then we will start from there so I start from the left that's Bakari Sanya, yes. the CEO and the father, founder of Buckspan. Yeah. And uh, next to him, we have Babukar. He's another amazing young man who has a lot of ideas, you know, in business, in whatever, man. This guy, man, he, <laughs> he got a lot of accolades. So um, <laughs> we will start with him because um, right now, you know, the time factor, he has to go to work. This is Babylon, right? You know what yeah. I mean? The time is a problem, man. Oh, he, right. he always, you know, run. You know what I mean? So he, he has to go. So. I'll start with him, you know, we can start the conversation, you know, because of the time factor. So, um, sure. so brother Babakar, how you doing, man? Welcome to Peer Talk. I'm good, man, bro. Thanks. Thanks All right. Thank you. Man. Yeah, man. I appreciate, we appreciate you for coming over, you know. By the way, you know, mm. he's not a guest, man. He's part of the team, you know what I mean? Right. These are the people behind the, the scenes, you know. We, we started with an um, a audio podcast, you know what I mean? So, and then this is the first time we're going to live video, mm. you know, and we're going to be doing this. And uh, he's gonna be, you know, educating us right now. His brother, you know, he's deep. You know, I'll tell you, man. But I'm not gonna say anything right now. You can judge, you know, it yourself. So, Babka, you know, um, look, like I said, like we, we, what do we do here? We motivate, we inspire, right. you know, right. you know, because we all know, you know, Africa needs a savior, mm -hmm. and African savior is always like, okay, the other people, maybe the white people. That's the mindset we have. That right. you know, we got the, you know, the West. Uh, we're not going to survive mm -hmm. and i think we need to uh, change that narrative right. you know as young africans you know we have to come up with ideas you know because we're, we're bright people bright young people man, doing amazing things i'm so like some right. of you man, i'm so inspired by you and a lot of people we need to enlighten our people we need to uh inspire especially the young ones coming up mm -hmm. you know um so why because uh, my thing is investing in Africa. Maybe we can start with that. A lot of things, you know, there's a lot of things, but investing in Africa is important because mm -hmm. it's going to um, help the other, pe other people over there, especially right. the young people. Right. You know, and then I wanted to um, expand on that a little bit. Why you think it's, you know, it's important, you know, um, to invest back home? Um, yeah. You know, investment is something that has a lot of benefits. Right. You know, uh, when you invest, you are not only making money, right. but you are also contributing to the, you know, economic, um, socio-economic development of that particular nation right. or country. Mm. Um, looking at Africa, I'm not saying we don't have investors, but majority of our investors are outsiders. Mm. And looking at things from that perspective, I um, always feel like, you know, we need to go back and invest because when a foreigner comes to your country and invests, mm. What they do is they take that money out of that country. In other words, it's affecting your economy, whether, you like, whether you know it or not. No doubt. And the other part of it is um, it weakens the country's strength mm. in so many forms. You know, we believe that I would say this is typical for most African countries. Right. What we think is that the government should be providing all the jobs mm. for the people, mm. but that's not necessarily true. Oh. Yeah. You know, if you invest, right. you are creating employment for your people. Mm. You are creating a form of independence, mm. right? Because investment will create opportunities where people can invent. Mm. People become thinkers. They become creative. All these things contribute to the development of that particular nation. Mm. And I see, I see it as something that is key that Africa should focus on. Mm. We should stop relying on other nations for our goods 
if you look at our societies, they are mainly consumer society. Mm. So that needs to change. The only way we can compete in the world market or mm. in the world as a whole, we have to be producing too. Mm. And that cannot exist in the absence of investment. Mm -hmm. And I will, I, will, I will focus more on maybe the agri part of it. Mm. You know, maybe Bax later on can talk about yeah. um, the other areas. But looking at agriculture, for example, mm -hmm. and I'll take Gambia as an example again, why are we still importing food? Yeah, that's a big question, you know? Especially rice. That's a big question. It's one, lack of investment. Yeah. Two, we lack the confidence that we can do it. Mm. I know government play its part, but citizens should also play their own part. Oh, yeah. If we have the opportunity to invest, mm. Do it. You just don't invest for profit. Mm. A good investor will also look at how can I impact this community in a positive way. All right, I'll, I'll cut you there. That's important. That's, that's yeah. very important what you say because, you know, I, I believe in that too, you know, serving your community, mm -hmm. creating opportunity for your community. But um, that point you say, not looking for profit. Someone might say, why am I doing it if I'm not getting any profit? Mm. No. You know. Again. To stay in business, you have to be profitable. I understand that. Mm. My point is, sometimes you do some investments, mm. even though, let's say, the profitability of that business might not be that very high, Yeah. but what you're looking at, I'm changing lives. Mm. This is my country. You know who does that? Mm. I'm not gonna say foreigners will do it, but it's likely that a citizen it's more likely to, likely do, to it do it than a foreigner because you know what? That citizen is not only looking at a profit, but he's looking at his own people. Yeah, I'm yeah, helping my people. Happy my people. That's why I'm doing this investment. Mm -hmm. right. So that's that's where I'm coming from. Let's yeah. say, for example, I'm interested in farming, even though I work I work in the healthcare system. Yeah. Uh -huh. no. One of the reasons why I, I'm interested in the farming, mm. these two are related, but sometimes people don't see that. Yeah. Before, the the best medicine for anybody is food. food. Food is very, very key. Mm. But if your food is coming from somewhere, you don't even know mm. how it is produced. Yeah. That is concerning. Yeah. It's very concerning. You need to be you need to be you need to be really worried about that. Yeah. I mean and, that, that that's 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 a good point right there because um I remember you know back in the day, like uh, it was like a couple couple years ago, right. you know, you know, uh, there's a, there's this, there was this video that was circulated mm -hmm. that you know people in China, like Chinese people, right. we are making plastic wires, yeah. yeah. sending it to Africa, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like what you say, it's right. very important, because we don't, we don't, we don't know, know. Yeah. it, so like, we don't, we didn't know, we don't know where it's coming from. Exactly. And people can do anything just to get, uh, just, yeah, because it's profit, something you know, profit, profit. What they see is money, yeah. they don't care about who is eating that yeah, product, who is eating because that. it's not their people, yeah. they are not worried about that, That's and what a bad thing we have in our countries, we don't have that proper quarantine system in place where you can check the quality, quality of, of food. Yeah. You know, that's not there. And again, looking at the healthcare system, we don't have a good healthcare system. Mm. So you're bringing in things that could be, and, and I believe some of them are very toxic yeah. to people we are consuming, mm. and we don't have any healthcare system that can treat those diseases or prevent them. Mm. You know, even proper diagnostic, we don't have it. Right. You know. So I think in doing that you should look at areas where you your strength is. And I think Gambia has strength when it comes to agriculture. We have yeah. the potential yeah. to produce our own food. Yeah. It's only when we are willing to invest in that area mm -hmm. then we can definitely solve that, problem. solve that problem. Yeah. We have to see how important that is and I think the government should help too. Right. But individuals who think they have the money to mm -hmm. do it, you know, let's let's try to focus on agriculture because mm -hmm. everybody needs food. This That's is something key. that everybody should That's do. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people it doesn't matter, you don't have to be a farmer. Mm -hmm. Every human being mm -hmm. should have some like uh, livestock. Mm -hmm. And you should also be able to do small gardening, even if it's going to be at the back of your house right. or your compound. Mm. Just do something. At least one, it is saving you some money. Right. Whether it's going to be one dollar, it's saving you some money. Mm. And also, you are eating something that you know you're the one who who, who grows it. Yeah. Yeah. You produce it. Yeah, yeah. that's so very that's, important, man. That's deep. Man. Yeah. Like, like I say, we have young, fresh minds over here, man. They have a a lot of a lot of ideas you know that we need to 
you know, we're average, you know. Um, so I'll go, go to you, Bakay. Mm -hmm. You know, as a young entrepreneur, you know, you are investing already. You started it. Right. Uh, and which is amazing, you know. I'm so inspired by your story. Mm -hmm. So I want you to tell the people, you know, um, what you invested in. And then, um, and you can tell them, you know, um, more about you. Okay, uh, so I'll start, start by introducing myself. Mm -hmm. uh, like you said, my name is Bakari Sanyam. Bakari Sanyam. I'm from Gambia. I'm a Gambian, but I live in the, the U.S., mm -hmm. in Seattle, Washington. Uh, like, like he said, uh, I already started a business in Gambia. I'm already investing, and I've been doing it for, for a couple of years now, for two mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the business that I started is, uh, is two years old last month. Right. So... Uh, we are into we are into painting, painting, painting houses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that is that is the area that we are dealing with. Mm -hmm. And as a result, we we have a company they are called Bats Paint. Mm -hmm. I'm sure most of most of the people who follow us on Facebook are aware of it. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> to say more about Bats Paint is it's, it's kind of like a company that is started by young Gambians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the founder, but, but I'm not the only one doing the business. I have but I have my team members who are on the ground doing it. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I came up with Backspaint, mm -hmm. uh, the name, before I go into what we do with mm -hmm. the name, mm -hmm. is because uh, we want to come up with a brand that the country, that the Gambian or fellow countrymen can, can, can relate to. Right. You know, so when you see the name Bax as a Gambian anywhere in the world, you know this has something to do with Gambia because Bax is the nickname mm -hmm. or the name that they commonly use to call people who are named Bakari. Right. So that's where the name came from. Because in, even in the US most of these big brands in the painting industry yeah. they are named after individuals. Yeah. Not it's only and you <coughs> like Walmart. Well, yeah, yeah, Walmart, even, uh, yeah, big Roda yeah. Paint is named after the founder. Yeah. Sowen Williams, they're all named after the yeah, people. They, they so are, mm -hmm. if you're an American you are anywhere in the world you see Roda, you know this is from America. So right. this, the founder is in America. So that's 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 the reason behind the name. All right. So what so, we do? Mm -hmm. I, I want to cut you there, um, because it's amazing, you know. Yeah. What made you venture into pants? Cause like, there's a lot of things you can do. Yeah. But you was like, oh, you know, I technically need to invest in what motivates you? What was you motivate going to paint you to paint? Okay. So, uh, like I said on my on the pod, the podcast that we had last week. Yeah. So I said before 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 the new government mm. before the current administration the the environment was not conducive. Yeah. Even though people were here and then. They, are, they have good ideas, they want to go home and invest and help. But uh, the political environment was not good. It was mm -hmm. not good for businesses. So, uh, because of that, so many people stayed away. But as soon as the changes happened, uh, people people had more confidence in the economy. So they wanted to invest. So I'm part of those people who visited the country immediately after the changes. Mm -hmm. I think three months or four months after the new government, then I, I, took a, I, took a, I took a tour. I took a trip to Gambia. Right. So like I said, um, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're somebody who, who is interested in business right. and you, 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 you go on travels, you don't just go on travel to just enjoy holiday yeah. and then get back to your normal stuff now. Yeah. What, you do, what, you, what you do is you go with, uh, you, you have to have reasons why you're going. Yeah. Yeah, you, can, you, can, you can multitask, you can do two, two things at the same. You can do vacation, mm -hmm. you know, enjoy time with your people, but yeah. also also have eye for just looking at things. Yeah. You know, have that eye that, that is trying to spot opportunities. Yeah. That is trying to spot yeah. uh, that's very, very uh, problems that you think yeah. you, you can solve. So that's what I did when yeah. I went there in 2017. Mm -hmm. I was I was vacationing but I was also looking at some of the opportunities, the opportunities. that are out there. Yeah. And that we can do something about. Uh -huh. And then uh, at the same time I was building a house for my mom in the village. So right. so my, my house was almost ready but I was thinking about painting you know mm. you know what kind of quality do I use to paint the house because most of the quality most of the paints that were there at the time mm. the quality was not like top notch it's like inferior quality mm. you see them peeling off you see that uh, yeah you know when they are dirty you can't yeah. wash it like like in America yeah, when the paint is dirty it's like when, when kids or something write something yeah, on the wall you can't wash it you can't yeah. easily wash it away, it becomes yeah. brand new <clears throat> yeah so that was not the case over there there yeah. you have to you have to be repainting every year. When there's rainy season, the mm. house is dirty, you have to repaint it again. So it's, it's very costly. So you want to tell me that your pain is not, you know, that of the 
like the standards, like gambling, like what you're talking about. Right. You don't, you don't have, you, your paint is not right. Like yeah. So, so because of that, like I said, because of inferior paint quality mm -hmm. in, the, in the country, mm -hmm. I, I spotted a gap. And the gap is, uh, yeah, if you see majority of the people who are building houses, they yeah. are living in the diaspora, they are living in the West. Mm. Majority of people who are building good structures, I mean, yeah. good story buildings, good, good, very good houses, most of them are living in abroad. And where they are living, they, are, they, have, they know quality. They mm. know the kind of houses they are living in, they know the paints that they have over there, right. compared to what you have there. So, that was a gap, mm. you know, coming from America, knowing that there are a lot of the people who are building are Americans, and they will need quality paint. This paint that they are using right now, because there is no alternative, that's why they are doing right, it. Right. So we, we decided to do something about that. Mm. Yeah. So when I came back, then we, we went into paint industry. You know, we, we did our, our investigations, and the letter decided, yeah, this is the paint that people need. The paint that is manufactured in America, it has the standard, it has the quality, and then it is healthy, you know. It's, it's, it's healthy, it's, it's, it's lead free, so lead -free. It, it makes it very yeah. healthy. Lead free. So yeah. that's how we start. Familiar with that. <laughs> and again, you know, that would bring back to what I was saying. Mm -hmm. When you have citizens investing, yeah. they are more careful and they have concerns Sad, for the yeah. nation um, versus a Your foreigner. Point, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. a foreigner. I'm not saying foreigners are doing any bad thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not against foreigners. You know, yeah. the whole thing is, right. is about who cares. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah. It's my environment. Yeah. This is where it's I'm my from. people. Yeah. I care about my people. You know, as much as I'm interested in profit, I also want to make sure. I do a good job because this is the country I'm from, mm. and I want to contribute positively. Right. So contribution can be true investment, even though you're making a profit, but that investment is also creating jobs and helping people. Mm -hmm. right. You know. So, like Bax, Bax is doing, I think I will encourage most gamblers to do the to same do thing. That. There are many problems that we can solve, and investment is basically solving a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. So once you can solve a problem, yeah, and we see a big problem in the country, that's, yeah. that's a good investment right there. Yeah, that's, the, that's business. If you have the means, mm -hmm. go for it. Yeah. Go for it and solve that problem. People people are going to buy it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean that's, that's key, man. That's yeah. very important. I think, I think, you know, I always say this. I think we need to, you know, make a stop and to this, quote-unquote, like, semester. <laughs> right. Like your point, like said, you go you go over there, you just, know, just, just flunting, mm -hmm. you know, with nice cars and everything, you know, all that, yeah. and then not doing anything, you know. Like you, you should be able to, like this young man, what he did, you know, you should be able to be vigilant and look around to see business opportunities right. and create it for not only for you but for all the people who are there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Before flunting and then showing yourself. Just like just like you said, yeah. I, I I see that too. Looking at our culture, yeah. Is another problem that we have mm. because typically, I would say we are wasteful. We like to waste money. Facts, right? Facts. Man. People who work here mm. for so long, yeah. for so many years, or maybe about a year or so. You have all this money, right? They said, "I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to dance before vacation." Yeah. Just like Max said. Instead of you go there and look for opportunities, yeah. you just go and blow that money. money. You're broke. Yeah. And you come back you here start again. Again. and start it all over. All over. Yeah. So when are you going to be financially secure? secure. Exactly. Question yourself. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not going I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna to attack our culture. No, we're not attacking, but we educate you. We just have right? to, you know, that. you have to, that's, that's, that's just, 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 just see somebody yeah. in Gambia, right, mm -hmm. who, has worked for maybe again for a whole year or two years. Mm. You have your savings, and just so because of yeah. just because of one gente, just naming ceremony, you blow everything off and mm. you're broke. Mm. Just for a couple of hours, you know, blow right? all your savings. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Ten years savings. Yeah. The way you see thing is, this money I am spending, what can I get out of it? Mm. If you keep thinking like that. I think you'll be somewhere, but if you just want, if you just want to go work yeah. and spend it, and spend it. Trust me, you you will work for the rest of your life. Mm. You will never you will never retire from you your job from working for people. Man. Yeah, that's, that's I think I think that's, that's something too we have to consider. We have to talk about. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad culture, but we should be responsible the way we yeah, spend our money. Be, yeah, you know? uh, yeah, I mean, even <laughs> non-Africans always, you know, look at us like that. We be like, yo. You Africans, man, you guys are rich. Yeah. They don't say that, like, yeah. because in our 
functions the way we spend money. Yeah. The way we, no, I, I don't need to. You know, I don't, yeah, I don't I mean, even want to interrupt. But yeah. what what he's just saying mm -hmm. is not even peculiar to our people down in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Even here yeah, in the diaspora, yeah, it's big over here. Are, it's most of our people are so yeah. wasteful. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can see them like getting things that they don't need. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, they just, sometimes they just do it because your friends have it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Or sometimes you are just doing it to solve. But who are you? Who are you bluffing? Or who are, right. Right. So my my point is, uh, just do things that you you, especially in, in the diaspora, mm. and somebody who want to invest in them in in Africa. Yeah. You have to know what you want, mm. and you have to know what you need. You know that certain thing like, like for example, me. I don't need two cars to live in America. I only need one car to do, just go from point A to point B, mm. so I can be able to save enough to be able to invest back home. Right. But the reason why most of our people cannot invest back home mm. and they cannot even go for vacations is because of that. They 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 took a lot of things that they don't need, and they are paying it every month or every week mm. you know so because of that they they can't even save because so it's like kind of like a cycle they they, they found themselves in a cycle that is that is unending mm. so it's always the cycle is always going around right just go go to work pay the bills and then go back again mm -hmm. so you don't even have nothing that is left you know put aside yeah for the future for the future even for the future of your kids mm. when they are going to college they have to go through through student loans and sure. stuff like that yeah so we need to we need to Change your attitude, ah, yeah. attitude and attitude. Mm -hmm. Because when you go to naming ceremonies, even in this in America, mm -hmm. sometimes what you see, man, you, you can't even believe. Yeah, you can't believe. You can't believe that these are our people. Yeah. You know, and majority of those people are just living lives that they you yourself know they can't afford. Yeah. You know. Even so so yeah. we we yeah. need we need to think about that all the time. That's very yeah, yeah, that's you know, key. It's, I mean, it's just a simple math. Yeah. Right. Your earning versus your expenses. Your expenses. Yeah. How much money am I making, mm -hmm. and how much how much am I spending? Yeah, you have to do that math for yourself. Yeah, if you are spending more than you are earning, mm -hmm. trust me. It's yeah, like, like yeah. yeah, like I so was just crazy. I was watching one like he would never make it. You know, Akon Akon was saying yeah. the same thing. Yeah, he said you know he believed that if you want to buy a house that's mm -hmm. a one million dollars, mm -hmm. and you don't have ten million in your account, right. you shouldn't buy it. No, exactly. or if you want to buy a car, mm -hmm. which is like two hundred thousand dollars, yeah. You know, and you don't have, you know, one million in your account. Yeah. You should it. So, like you said, it yeah. all comes down to what you yeah. said. Yeah, um, that's, that's the, wisdom right there. Yeah, you have to be balanced. Yeah. 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 Um, everyone, man, this is, you know, Dauda. He's part of the team yeah, too. The camera. Uh, he was the one today. He is the one one behind the camera. The camera. So, um, hey, just a little bit already. introduction. You know, this this I'm man is a great man too. He's a leader. You know, he's a businessman. He started business since yeah. back home before it's he comes really here. You know, he he was in the business this industry in the Gambia, and he did great things. You know, before even you know um, coming to the diaspora. So I will let him. Dauda, I will ask you this question. You know, like long as today, you know, we are talking more of the establishing businesses. You know, business ideas and stuff. You know, you've been in the Gambia and you did great things. You know, when it comes to business. You know, like he did. You know, you spotted. You know, business idea. You said, oh, this we're not having this in our community, and. Um, I think it's important for us to have this. With all odds, you said, hey, I'm going to do this. So can you yeah. tell the people the potential of um, creating businesses, the business options that we have there that most people are not reliable? Can you, can you um, say a little bit about that? Yeah, so, um, so based on my experience mm -hmm. during the time that I was back home in the Gambia, right. is that, um, so what I tell people is that um, when it comes to business, um, I, I have not have a lot of education yeah. in business, but mm -hmm. you know, we you don't have to be that educated yeah. to be able to create mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. yeah, that you good. know it, yeah. it might be something tomorrow. Right. You know, so you know, just like always, normal youths that in the Gambia we all hang out, we make attire, we make teas and all stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But then it's like. Um, I came up with this because what motivated me was that when I was living in in the small estate, that was the first estate, I think it's the first estate built by Kaf, yeah. Yalambamba estate. So, you know, there was this guy from Nigeria who used to come around and collect this garbage collections and then people pay the money oh. to, to him, you know. So, and I was there and I'm like, okay. You know, if this guy can do this, yeah, can do and especially me who lives in here in this community, I think I can also do it. 
So I started being, you know, like, okay, I wanted to do the same thing. But it's like he was, you know, just like you guys say, mm -hmm. you know, he was charging more, you know. And I said, okay, well, I can charge less. Yeah. Because what mm -hmm. happened is, you know, like, like you said, Baba, yeah. we're not saying that foreigners who come to the country mm -hmm. are bad. Mm -hmm. No, they are not. Mm -hmm. They came over there to invest. Yeah. They invest in business, they make their profit mm -hmm. or whatever. But then, you know, we as Gambians, mm -hmm. if we create our own business, we feel like this is our country. Right. You know, this is the community that I belong mm -hmm. in. So we have a little bit more mm -hmm. yeah. on our side, yeah. on our people, yeah. mm -hmm. than them. Because this guy was, was, for example, he was charging every month 250 Right. When I came, I was charging 150. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, you yeah, see the difference there? Mm -hmm. Because the reason why I'm going low is because these are my people. I feel them. Mm -hmm. I I am from this place, you know, you know, and I'm, I'm my my household. We are also paying the same right. thing, and I know how hard it is yeah. to come up with that money. Mm -hmm. So when I came, I was like, okay, I'm going to go low. You know, yeah. I don't need to make that huge, you know, profit, mm -hmm. a huge amount of money. <clears throat> But my concern was also you know, the community that I'm living in. I wanted to make sure that they are able to sustain. Mm -hmm. And you know, you yeah. know, the beauty of so that is that's uh, amazing. Man. That is called the number game in business. Yeah, it's a very effective way of yeah. maximizing your profit. Mm -hmm. Somebody is selling something for two dollars, and you know, even if I can sell it for one fifty, I'll still be profitable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sell it because when people know you have the same quality product and yours is less expensive, mm -hmm. they will come to you. Mm -hmm. They will come to you first before they will go to the $2 guy. Yeah, exactly. Or $2 guy. Mm -hmm. So, it is not only helping the people, but you are also maximizing, maximizing your profit in a short period of time. Right. You know? So, I think, um, like we said, um, we the young ones need to come up. Yeah. And, and, and develop our country. Com and yeah. it has, it can be in so many ways. So in so many, many forms. So many yeah. areas. You can be an investor. Yeah. Right? And I'll, maybe this is not a good time to talk about it. Mm. But even looking at our roads, especially now we are in the rainy season, right. our roads are usually very bad. Mm. How many beautiful compounds have we passed by and see how bad their road is? Oh man, that's my thing. If you can build that house, yeah. it is not going to cost you even quarter. Yeah. Of what you spend in building that house yeah. to make a bit just to put some concrete, concrete. on the yeah. road. We shouldn't wait for the government to do yeah, that. Government. Yeah, 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 yeah. This but should be our responsibilities yeah. as citizens, mm. as responsible citizens. Mm. <clears throat> you know, so I think we need to start rethinking about yeah, development about, so many things, yeah. about yeah. our country, the country yeah. and do what is good for us. Mm. You know, whatever you do, mm. it might not benefit you right away. Yeah. Or you might, you might never even feel the benefit of it, but all, it's going to help other people. It might help your own kids, it might help you your, know. your you friends. Know. Yeah. You know, I, I think... Um, and, and I think one thing, you know, when it comes to Africa, I think that's like, uh, you know, the African mentality. Right. You know, we don't think of the future. Yeah. You know, whatever we we doing, mm -hmm. we just think about today. Right. If it is not going to benefit right. me today, I don't care. Not you know, I'm not going to do it. Right. And, uh, you know, that's, that's one thing that we have. You know, uh, we, when it comes to the West, we, mm -hmm. are, we have the difference. You know, the West, the people in the West, they always think of the future. You know, yeah. today, today, they're working, up, they're talking about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Today is already there. Yeah. They already have that. Mm -hmm. So, all they're doing is tomorrow. Right. You know what I mean? So, I think as Africans, you know, we, we need to think yeah. that. So, so like, like that. I just want to bolster some what you just yeah. said. Mm -hmm. You see, when you look at us, you know, sometimes I don't. You don't even get it mm. because, like you said, in Africa, especially in the Gambia, people depend so much on the government. Mm. And they expect them to do so much. Yeah. You know, forgetting their own part. Right. You, know, you forget. You always want your government to do it for you. Mm. What can you do for the country? What can you do? Yeah. For your people. That's important. So, if you look at what you just said, mm. there are a lot of people who are building very big mansions. You know, mansions. Yeah. Big houses. They are driving two million dollars a car mm. on the, on potholes. Yep. In their own neighborhood, right? Yeah. We was talking about it. So that's why I, <laughs> the I was telling somebody, yeah. I will never drive a car that is that is that is that cost me more than five hundred thousand in the Gambia. It's, it's not what there's no roads there. Yeah, yeah. Why am I going to do that? Mm. You know. So those are some of the areas that 
private sector needs to come in or private individuals need yeah. to come in. Yeah. You build a good structure in a in a in a neighborhood. In a neighborhood. Like you said, try yeah. to put at least something on the on the road that that can make it exactly. at least yeah, you know, yeah, motorable and, and, and all of that. Yeah. Like but if well, right now you know we are in the rainy season, even mm. today I, I understand it's raining again. Mm -hmm. So so there are some people right now they will not they, they are not gonna use their cars. Right. Exactly. They park their cars until after the rainy season. The rainy and that season. is year after year, it never changes. Oh, so what are we doing? And you'll find out that those people, mm -hmm. I'm not saying they are capable of no, they can do buying it. A, bag, a bag of cement. That's what I was telling Dada today. You come and together and watching the video. You don't build that. You don't, don't, don't wait for the government. Yeah. The government can't do yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. don't even have the fund to do it. Yeah, I have, I have an example. Yeah. I think Jaliba so, did it. Right. Jaliba has a massive structure in his neighborhood. Okay. So he's somebody who always like, you know, Come, come with the neighborhood people like the boys, come mm -hmm. together and try to do something about the road, the road network. Yeah. I was telling the same thing. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, we need, if you have roads. more more of Jalibas who are doing that in yeah. our you know, neighborhoods, mm -hmm. at least our roads will be better. Our roads will be better. Be yeah, we, we was watching a video, you know, and it, you know, it rained today in Africa. And, in Ghana, yeah. and then the, the whole neighborhood, like, you see nice it's buildings, man. Yeah, like, nice buildings, but, but the roads are It was nice. amazing, like, yo, yeah. and then the road was flat, yeah. literally. Like, yeah. I'm like, wow, how is this happening? You know, because if you look, if you if you look at it, the the whole the street is between two beautiful, two beautiful you know, structures. I mean, yeah. structures mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The whole road is like this whole road is like beautiful mansions. Oh, I can there are mansions in right. general. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. if every compound, you know, contribute like even one bag of uh, no, ten bags. Ten bags. Ten ten bags. Ten ten bags. Ten ten bags. Right, so and slaps. Yeah. Ten ten me hundreds me hundreds uh, slaps. Mm. You know that that should be enough yeah. just for a street. Right. You know what I mean. Right. So I mean it's very important. You know. Yeah. We need to. Uh, but do you have something to say about it? No. Uh, I'm just gonna round up on it. Um, I have to leave. Okay. So now I'm gonna work. That's more to more My final remark <laughs> is gonna be. Um, I think. The last topic. Yeah. What I have also thought about is that I think the government should have a law in place. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it's gonna it's gonna be passed through the parliament, mm -hmm. but something should be in place. If that somebody is able to build certain structures, yeah, it is mandatory on them to at least concrete the size of their their house or the mm -hmm. compound mm -hmm. to the center of the road, and their neighbor does the same thing, depending on. The, the affordability. The, the, yeah, depending on their affordability yeah. and the type of house they built. Mm. I think we should think about it. Mm. Yeah. Because this has been a problem for so long. It has been a problem for so long. And maybe doing that, that will trigger some sense in many of us mm. and try to, you know, contribute in our communities. The other thing is tree planting. You know, I'm big on that. Yeah, I'm, big on, I'm big on that's nature. Key. That's key. You know? mm. Tree planting. Let's not just build houses and cut down old trees. Mm, do Leave that. something there. Yeah. Trees are very important. That's affecting the environment. It is affecting us. <clears throat> You'll see somebody come and clear his whole compound and put nothing but concrete and corrugated seeds. That's it. Mm. No plant at all. Be creative. I know plant can be bad too. They can, they can have some bad effect on the building. Mm. But be strategic and put them in a place where they will not affect the building. Yeah, because they are important. We need we need plants. We need, we need. And, uh, so that's going to be my final, final remarks. Yeah. Until next time, maybe next Saturday, I'll join you guys and we'll talk more. All right. Thank All right. you so Thanks, much, man. brother, man. Yeah. It's amazing, man. I told you, man. This, <laughs> guy, you. Spirit, this man. guy is deep, you know. Um, but because of the time factor, he has to do this. You know, um, and then, um, like we said, today is the uh, first episode, so we're not going to be too long. Uh, we're not going to you know, um, be, uh, spend more time here. You know, but then um, I will just go back to Pax to say his final words, you know, um, about the whole thing. No, I mean, your um, final words, I, w I want you to tell people, you know, to inst invest. Invest, yeah. Like you don't. So my, 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 my final word for today's episode will be exactly that, investment. Mm -hmm. um, Africa is the future. Uh, for investing and mm -hmm. for business. <clears throat> for farming, for everything, Africa is the future. So let's go back, brothers and sisters. If you are in the diaspora, you you have ideas and you have little capital. Mm. Let's 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 go for the vacation. Man. Let's mm. take a vacation and then let's not just go there for holiday or yeah. party. Yeah. Let's go there with, like I said, with an eye to look for opportunities. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of opportunities there, but you have to look well to see them. So when you go, just don't spend all your time partying. Just look at the opportunities. 
see what you can do about that opportunities and in the process you will help develop the country, you will help create a lot of employment for our people, mm -hmm. especially our young people. Right. Because they, it's fact, the government cannot employ everybody. Yeah. The government, they are the biggest employer, but they cannot employ everybody. Mm -hmm. So the private sector have to come in, and we are the private sector. Right. And we have to do that. If you, if you are in the diaspora, I say take a trip. Take a trip, go look for, for problems that you think you can solve, mm -hmm. and then you contribute your color. Yeah, that's, that's what I have. Oh, man, it's very, 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 very cool, man. This boy is, man, you know, mm -hmm. I'm inspired. You know, what this brother is doing, you know, is great. Mm -hmm. you know, he's employing a lot of young people, yeah, and we all know um, how our young people are struggling you know, back home. You know, it's not easy for them. The only people who are going to make it easy for it is us who are a little bit better. You know? And then investment is, is key. You know? We need to get rid of the mindset of, oh, I need to have a lot of money. I need to have you know, 20 grand in my account before investing. No, no. start with a thousand dollars. You know, start with small and then you can grow from there. It's very important. You know? Remember, it's not about you, but it's about the it, uh, the impact you're gonna you're gonna make uh, in other people's life, uh, and, and I think it's very important. So on that note, man, this is just a warm up. You know, we're gonna be having we're gonna be having this every week. You know, and then we're gonna have prominent people. You know, a lot of young minds who are doing great things here in the day as well. And then we're gonna be having a conversation with them. Yeah. So stay tuned, and then share this video, subscribe, and then comment. We want to know how you guys feel about it. You know? so, and then I will say, I'm your host, Aladdin, one more time. And then today, I will say, thank you so much. And I'll see you soon.